All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all honor, all praises, all glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father, who the Word only calls God. Yahweh Shai, the only begotten Son, who the Word only calls Jesus Christ. We'd like to say the water or thank you to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, for the Rakakwadash. The Rakakwadash is the Holy Spirit, which is the driving force behind these lessons. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the rule well. Peace, blessing, grace, and safety goes out to all the Akim and Zaquanim. Around the world, preaching and teaching his word and truth and sincerity. Shalom on to the hopeful elect. All right, so are you call with the men of South Carolina count coming back with a lesson? And uh, this is going to be on the topic of uh, World War Three. All right, which is um, on the brink, which is on the rise. All right, because it's prophesied in the scriptures. And that's how we know that it's going to come to pass, because these things that are written in the scriptures uh, have and will come to pass. All right. So we see. We uh, line up the signs of the times with the things that are prophesied in the scriptures. And what's prophesied in the scriptures? World War Three, this third is war, uh, world war. All right, that's why you got articles like this and things like this happening. So I'm gonna uh, read on this and grab a couple of precepts. So it says, U.S. intercepts Russian bombers off Alaska for two days straight. It says the U.S. intercepted a Russian aircraft flying off Alaska in international airspace as they approach an identification zone for two straight days this week, according to officials. And this was uh, around uh, last week. It says planes are required to identify themselves when they approach the Alaska, Alaska Air Defense Identification Zone, or ADIZ. If they don't, U.S. aircraft are launched to check on them. It says the Alaskan region of North American Aerospace Defense Command, or NORAD, announced on Thursday an incident that took place on February 14, in which U.S. Air Force F-35s intercepted four Russian aircraft, including two Tu-90 bombers. The U.S. announced on Tuesday it had intercepted two Russian uh, Tuplev Tu-95MS strategic bombers on a seven-hour flight over neutral waters of the Chuk Chukchai Sea and the Sea of Oktosh on February 13th. All right. It says, uh, let's jump down this. It says, the Russian activity near the North American ADIZ occurs regularly and is not seen as a threat, nor is the activity seen as provocative, nor is said in this statement. <clears throat> All right. So, hey, this is just uh, signs of the time that you got Russia ready to invade. All right, Alaska is not far from uh, uh, the United States. All right, it's uh, Alaska, Canada, then it's the United States. That's why they intercepted it. So this just goes to show you that these other nations are ready and willing to come to Babylon the Great. All right, and that's going to happen, and they're going to send their thermonuclear missiles to on this place too. So things like this are just uh, things we see and just... Um, uh, you know, line it up with the scriptures because the third world war is going to happen. Babylon the Great is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear fire. Thus say the Lord, thus say the Bible. And uh, the chariots, all right, which, which are so called UFOs, are going to do the Lord's bidding also. All right. So let's grab a couple pre sales. It's Revelation 11 and 14. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. All right. The Bible prophesied about the world wars. World War One, World War Two, and now it's speaking about World War Three, which is uh, going to happen. That's why you have all these tensions with these nations. You got the uh, the uh, what is called them blocking from uh, buying and selling over here. Uh, what is it called? It's slipping my mind right now. Uh, it's like it's slipping my mind what it's called when they block. Uh, certain goods and stuff being sold to and from Babylon the Great. All right. This is Joel 3 and 2. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and part of my land. So the Heavenly Father is going to gather all the nations of the earth and send them to the Middle East. All right. In a place called Yahweh Shapat and judge them there. And that judge, uh that judge what represents um 
or to, uh, excuse me, plead with them. All right, plead with them there means what? Judge them there. And he's going to judge them by making them fight each other. And ultimately, the thermonuclear uh, missiles are going to get shot off and the chariots are going to be uh, uh, dispatched. Okay? This Revelation 9 and 12, one woe is past and behold, there come two woes more hereafter. See, the scriptures spoke about what? The first world war. Then it said what? Two more wars are coming afterwards. And that's what you have about to befall this earth. That's why the tension with the nations are so, so high right now. All right. You got China, Russia. Okay. Ready to uh, go to war with Babylon the Great. All right. The Joel chapter 3 and verse 9 proclaim ye this among the Gentiles prepare war wake up the mighty man let all the men of war draw near let them come up so these things are not written in the Bible just uh, for a story these are things that are going to come to pass uh, on earth alright the Lord has spoken these things and these things are going to befall the earth Jeremiah 15 and 22 a sound of battle is in the land and of great and of great destruction see that sound of the battle is in the land that sound of the battle is in the land of what Babylon the great these war drums are beating okay do something real fast because hey brothers in the know brothers in the faith sisters in the faith know these things are going to come to pass no Babylon the great is going to get touched it said in Joel 3 for uh for my people Israel. So this is going to be the payback of all the nations of the atrocities that they did to the Israelites. It's Isaiah 9 and 5. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. So these wars, these third woe, these woes are this third woe that the scripture is talking about is going to be with burning and fuel of fire. Via the ICBM thermonuclear missiles and the chariots. All right. That's why. Uh, let's read this. Isaiah 95. For every battle of the war is with confused noise and garments roll in blood. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. See, this fire is going to burn. That's why it says in uh, 2 Peter, the third chapter, that the elements are going to uh, melt with fervent heat. The second Peter 3 and 12, looking for and hastening until the coming of the day of the most high, wherein the heavens shall be on heavens being on fire shall shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. That fervent heat that's gonna melt are the heat from the thermonuclear missiles and the laser beams, the heat from the chariots. Alright. That's why you got Kim Jong-un's sister uh popping shit. Alright. Saying that uh, uh, they ready, basically ready to go to war with Babylon the Great. Isaiah 54 and 16. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. So the Heavenly Father has created the scientists to create these uh, weapons of, of, of mass destruction. For what? So they can be used to uh, destroy Babylon the Great and various other places that's going to uh, that's going to get new. All right. Uh, so that's all I wanted to bring out real quick. Just wanted to harp on World War Three because that's uh, prophecies. All right. And the spirit of Yahweh shot is the spirit of prophecy. And that's what brothers are on. And that's what we do. So with that, close it up. Give it all honor, our praise, our glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Call Halal Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. Shalom.